artists, actors, people like that. They live in a very strange bubble of their own. They're mollycoddled. They're highly privileged. We're talking about successful artists like George or Barbara Streisand or any other, you know, really successful performing artist. They live in a relatively small world. The people around them are very solicitous and caring for them. They have a worldview that is, therefore, everything should be given to everybody because everything has been given to them. If you run a business, if you are responsible for a lot of people, you come to grips with the reality that you have to have discipline. You have to protect the enterprise in order to take care of the employees. So therefore, you can't be wasteful, you can't squander things, or you jeopardize other people. So running a business gives you a sense of, of compassion that is defined in different terms than someone who just thinks of themselves as generous, who lives in a single O environment. We know that real compassion, the real benefits to the people, the working people of America, will only take place as long as America is healthy. And healthy means that we can't ha owe 18 trillion or 20 trillion dollars because that day will cause el all the working people in America to suffer. So the, the actors, the, the Hollywood crowd, they're understandably the victim of their own special prejudice. And being in Las Vegas all my life, we know about the Hollywood people, and we love them anyway. George Clooney is fun to be with. As I said in an early resort, you just have to watch your timing. All right, well, and I didn't everyone... call the president an asshole, <laughs> and George didn't call me an asshole. He was, he was a little into the tequila, and, uh, but he is fun to be with. He's a good storyteller.